That's a really good question. And then partly that's why I came on to this, I agreed to come on to the podcast because historically we have, once we've been lucky, we've worked very hard and our marketing has been focused more real, realistically about direct sales and putting myself out. We made some really good strategic partnerships with Expos. So we would act as compliance partners for the show. So we would essentially give our services for free. That was a really good way of actually getting in front of people that didn't know about us. We had credibility for being show partners and we picked up information. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of work involved in that because you are offering a service to the organizers to ensure that the product coming to the show are compliant to that particular market. But that was pretty good for us. So it's been, we've, we've put effort in. But not much spend. Why? Where we are near, we are top three for Europe in terms of compliance for the novel nicotine set. Possibly even top three, top five in the world as a company in that sector. But as we see consolidation in that particular market as is, is going to happen as the regulation become bar is hot, is raised, we're going to see consolidation within that market. We need to think naturally about where we go and how we grow as a company. 